So what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Jetman 316 Custom YouTube channel. I'm your host as always, Jetman 316, your pop culture reporter. This is a toy hunt and we're not gonna delay. Let's get in some stores, let's find some toys. What are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> First stop of the day is going to be in a Target. Let's see what we can find. Let's go. That's a cool first find. That's the main one I'm looking for out of that set. You never see her. We got old Jeff Hardy. Same old peg warmers on the Legends. But that's cool finding that Dakota Kai. Got a few. Master of the Universe. We got Fisto still up there. We got the Faker. Got the Savage and Orco set still. I've only seen that Triclops once. We got some Stratos. Some like an army build Stratos and Buzz off in here if they want to get those. Nothing, man. The dinosaurs are about cleared out. So, we got the Batman movie coming out this weekend. So we're gonna check over here in the Marvel and the DC section. They got the Despair Marvel Legend figure. We got American Chavez. A bunch of her. Why do they always get like one big stack of the same figure? Look at that, like two pegs of that. Not one of the other ones. That's ridiculous. Either way, well two of the other ones. I do like that figure though, but I'm not getting that wave. I don't like many of the other figures in there. I already got a Doctor Strange. Yeah, they still got that Hobgoblin set with the t-shirt and the pop. Nothing much else over here. It looks new. Same old, same old there. Batman car is kind of cool. Here's that two-pack. Well, at least it's got some sound effects to it. I like that. Hmm. Any of the figures any good? They got that Riddler. I'm not a big super fan of that. That, that car won't quit making a noise. That's funny. Let's go back and look at the Pops. Hey, they got the big one of the Batman. That's kind of timely. Still got a bunch of Ace Ventura stuff. Still got some minis. We got some turtles. Yes, those are restocks. Got a bunch of restock on NECA stuff. But it looks like somebody tore through there and probably got anything that's any good. Is this new? I don't remember seeing this one. I think that's the same old one, right? Yeah. Yeah, well. You break it, you buy it. I don't see that. Nope. So let's head over into, I think we're gonna go into the Walmart to see if they got anything in here. Let's go. Ah, boom. So we'll go to the NECA section first. They got the normal top shelf stuff, the Migos. I know that's not 39, but I like that. None. I might have to get one of those. I got a Toxic Avenger. Maybe I'll open it on the channel. And what is this? That's the two pack. Yeah, we've seen those. Hey, look at that. That's a cool Ozzy Osbourne, those album ones. That's pretty neat. Got all those normal gold ones. Not really seeing a whole lot else over here. Got this Walmart exclusive Zombie Hunter Spidey. So at least they did have something new over here. So we found the Batman display. This is a lot of people finding this. So they got most of the single figures. There's the Batman. I, really, I, I like this suit the more I see it. Hopefully in the movie he'll keep the suit on. 
I don't like him as an actor. There's the the unmasked version. I don't need that for sure. There's the Catwoman. I'm hoping that she's good in the movie. I think there's an unmasked version of this one, isn't it? Does he get those wonderful toys? There's the penguin. Not too much on that figure. Doesn't look like it's a lot of articulation unless you can get the jacket off. That's not from the Batman. Huh. There you go. Bruce Wayne. I saw Greg Cook did a video on it and you couldn't even get that figure on the um, motorcycle if you find the cycle. I thought that was kind of cheesy. Is there General Zod? So it's multiple ways on this. I like some of these. And then there's Batman. And Batman, that's what, all kinds of different versions of him. It's one of the ones where you can keep changing him and it still it seems kind of fresh. They got some of the large scale ones here. Somebody probably already dug through and got the gold one or the blood, what is it, bloody one? What's on the other side? Some of the deluxe ones. So they got the, the Dark Knight wave with the Joker and Batman. That's a different wave. And those Wonder Woman's of Peg Warm. That's not The Rock. No, 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 no. Uh, what if they'll do a wave? I'm so sure they will when that movie comes out. That's Superman. I know it's from that Dark Knight, but he's way too big. I do like the the horse there, but and then I dug through and found one more different one that they had. There's a Green Lantern, and then there's the Batman. So I don't see any platinum editions on this one. Somebody probably already got all the good ones off of here anyway. So we didn't see anything else over in the toy aisle section, so I didn't bore you with that, but they still got some clearance stuff over here. Look at this. Wish I could have got over here before that somebody got them all. These are Marvel Legends for four bucks. It's a regular, what, $22.88 now? So they got Magneto, Cyclops, Legion. What else they got? Fantastic Four. Yeah, if those were four, I'd get them, but not for eight. That's too much. Look at that chain, Shane Chi. That's not even worth two dollars. Care Bears. Hey, a little minion action. Unicorn squad. I'm just checking to make sure. Hey, look at that. Uh, five bucks. That's not bad. Hey, we're going to go somewhere different. Somebody told me they, they've been finding Marvel Legends in Ross Dress for Less. We're going to slide in here and see if I don't get hit by this car. Sorry, the wind's blowing quite a bit today, so let's get in here and see what they got. Let's go. And right here off the shelf, they got the Gamerverse Iron Man. Two of those. Oh, no, it's not. One of them's Iron Man. Look, that's the Joe Fixit wave. One of them's Iron Man and one of them's Captain America. So they probably did get that wave in here, but 10 bucks, no way. Fortnite figures. It's not bad. Speaking of that, I got the Joe Fix, Fix It Wave. Look up on the channel. I unboxed those and did a review. So they got some of the larger Fortnite figures I mean, as far as the sets, but that's the only two Marvel Legends I see. I'm not seeing much else. More Fortnite. Good figure. That stuff's been flooding shelves in Walmart and Target. Now that they got the new packaging, got minions. At least they got a decent little mix in here today. 
Is that the same one? Yeah. That's the one with more accessories. Got a battleship game. Got a Fortnite accessory pack there. It's not too bad. I'm not seeing a lot, but hey, it's better than what we normally find in here. Hey, look at there. There's one of the deluxe figures. Tomato head. Man, some of those things are just cheesy. And then randomly, some of them would be really cool. They got Lego sets. That's a pretty big set there. Not seeing much else, so let's get out of here and go to another Walmart. Nice, bright day. We'll head up in here and see if we can find anything new. So at the beginning of the aisle, I noticed they had some Legends. I was hoping it would be more of the new wave, but they weren't. But they do have these vintage Spider-Man figures. They got the black suit, Spidey. No Hobgoblin, though. And then down here toward the end, I noticed they got some uh, Masters of the Universe stuff stocked. They got Spike Or, Beast Man, Man at Arms, Tila. Then they got some um, Eternian Goddess from the Origins line. Oh my god, everything's falling. Look. Why would they stack them up like that? They should be on pegs. And right, I'm gonna knock somebody out. They got Web Store, they got Beast Man LOP. I like that figure. It almost looks like it's got a wrestling belt to it. They got Stinkor. Anybody buying those? They said that that figure actually stinks. I thought they had had the cool Batman display in here, but they didn't. They got the one with the little mini figures on it and the cars, but oh well. I'm sure they'll get them in here eventually. I'll, I guess I'll miss, them, miss out on it. Yeah, I was back here at the pop section, ain't that much, but it's the first time I've seen the Michael Myers large pop in stores. Got the Larry Bird. And then over here, look at this. They got a um, DIY Santa Jack Skellington. Why is that out in March? Doesn't make any sense. Should have been out at Christmas. We'll scan the section since we're over here. Oh, they got these Star Wars. Boba Fett. What if any of them's a chase? We're going to look. Let's see. Chase? Nope. Nope. Oh, well. What about this one? Fennec, do they have any chase of her? Is there even a chase of that one? If it is, they don't have any. Nope. No chase. Bobbleheads down there. NECA. It's going to be hard pressed to sell at NECA. They didn't want up on the price. Hey, they got a little Grogu. But on the back end cap, look at this. I found something cool. These are got the electronic price tag thing on them, but it's a large scale Batman 89 figure, and I can't get it to where it won't glare on it. Look at there. Man, that is cool. I ought to scan that and see how much it is. Well, to quote the great philosopher, Tommy Boy. Holy shnikes. Yeah, I don't think so, 100 bucks. They do have the rest of these. I haven't seen these in here before. I'm not much on anime characters, but those look cool. So look, we were leaving the back way and they got this skid here. And it's got the Batman logo on it. So it looked like somebody already cracked into it. I left it all messed up. So I tried to pry open the end of it and see what was in there. Them damn scalpers, man, they come in here and grab everything before any of the collectors can leave and look. But, so I did find that on the skid. Look at that, that's kind of cool. That's one of the platinum editions. So they didn't get everything that was good. 
Um, I don't know that I saw the Robin figure on there. That's the hard one from the set. So what's up YouTube back in the car after a pretty good toy hunt, found some new things. I didn't buy a lot. I did buy one thing that I said I wasn't gonna buy, but after seeing it, I thought it looked cool. So um, found the skid that they dropped of the Batman um, DC figures and I went ahead and bought the McFarlane figure of the Batman. Oh, Robert Paddington Bear himself. Um, I said I wasn't gonna buy it, but this is pretty damn cool looking figure. Um, I really wanted the Batman. Um, I've got, you know, it'd be nice if they released like a Michael Keaton Batman like this. But either way, the main set's got Batman, Catwoman, Riddler, the Penguin. Um, there's a Bat Cycle that they didn't have on that skid. Um, I know a lot of people were buying and flipping a lot of these things on the skid, like the large Batman. And then they didn't have all the Builder figures, but look, they, I can't afford to buy all this shit all the time. So... Hey, I'm tired of trying to flip too because you'd always don't make the money back. Um, I know in this case I probably would, but hey, either way, other collectors can do that. I'm gonna just be picky and choosy this year and buy the stuff that I'm interested in. So here's a news update. Um, I recorded that intro and then the exit in the car, but then I went to the next store and found this display and ended up getting this McFarlane Platinum. So I wanted to add it in there to show you that I did buy it. I was showing it in the store. So there's that. It's the Batman. And then there's a couple other things that I wanted to add. Because in that one store, um, I forgot. I got the clearance um, Marvel Legends that they had. So just to show you guys, I got that Marvel Legend of Cyclops. This is from the Colossus Wave. Got it for four bucks. And then I got Magneto from the same wave. Got that for four bucks. And then I got Marvel's Legion from the same wave. Got that for four bucks. So pretty good um, extra haul there. So now I'll return you to the uh, regular scheduled program already in progress. Let's go. So hopefully you're not too choosy and you come back and watch more videos from me. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and do all that normal YouTube stuff. And on your way out the door, one last thing. Hit that notification bell and you'll be the first to know when I post new videos. So until the next toy hunt or movie hunt or anything else pop culture related, this is Jeff Man 316 your pop culture reporter signing out saying, you guys be safe out there.